This is Professor Derif Seitz. This video shows how to calculate hypothesis testing critical values for a T distribution using Microsoft Excel. This would occur in the context of a hypothesis testing procedure when testing for a population mean when sigma is unknown. The two values that are input into the blue cells, first, the level of significance, alpha, in this example, 1%, and the degrees of freedom, which is the sample size n minus 1. The spreadsheet calculates critical values for three different kinds of hypothesis test, a left tail, a right tail, and a two-tailed test. Which kind of test is used is determined by the relational sign in the alternative hypothesis. Less than, you use a, two, a left tail test. Greater than, you use a right tail test. And not equal to, you use a two-tailed test. For the left tail test, the function that's used is t dot i and v, t dot inverse, v1 and v2, those blue cells. For the right tail test, t dot inverse, 1 minus v1 and v2. For the two tail test, looking first at the right tail, it's t dot inverse dot 2t, which stands for two-tailed, v1 and v2. We see here that Microsoft Excel has a special function for a two-tailed t-test. And the left tail of the two-tailed test is the negative of the right tail, minus b8. The decision based on critical values, if is to reject the null hypothesis if the test statistic t falls in the rejection region, depending on what kind of a region test you're using, left tail, right tail, or two tail. Again, this would be part of the hypothesis testing procedure. It's shown here separately for the convenience, if you just need to calculate critical values 